internet. Um, different location today. Um, we're out in my shed, which I've been cleaning up, which is part of the reason why we haven't seen a video in a while. Um, it used to be you could not walk in the door of the shed. Um, I can now walk into most of it. Still a bit of work to do. The idea of me cleaning this up, though, is so if I can get things like this printer out here, my um, uh, MakeBot replicator clone, um, because that's ABS. Don't really want it in the house if I can help it. Uh, it's quite an enclosure so the heat will stay in, um, and there's no space for it inside anyway. Um, the other thing is, later on, hopefully, be able to see and see out here, do some other things, get around the line of the shed, and I'll try and do some videos on that sort of thing. Um, got my old laptop out here so I can do basic slicing with on chip. Um, nice pen keyboard, yes, it's a pen keyboard. It was 70 cents. If it gets wrecked, don't care. Um, some other things about the channel I've been trying to do lately is I've bought some fixed frames with the idea of mounting some LED strips inside, soldering up some bits and pieces so that this connector's a light panel. Um, as part of doing that, I got some frosted glass paint and put the glass out and frosted it. Didn't work too bad. The only problem is where I had it for drying. There was some water drops and it's a little bit ruined there. I don't know how to clean that up. Um, at the moment I'm going to try it as it is and see how it goes. I hope the second one will be better. Um, if it comes from this one but the second one's okay, what I'll do is just buy another one of these from Ikea. They're not that dear. And then I'll have two nice little flat lights. Um, as you might be able to see, I have started getting the Mega Box. Mainly thanks to um, Fujitech. I've used his um, code for that. And in this one, this is the February and February. He's an interesting woman to me. He is Bronzefield. Now, none of my printers have a hard nozzle, so I couldn't print that. And I sat down and thought about which printer I should try and make have a hard nozzle. Should be a replicator. And it's like, well, it's here for printing ABS, that's what I use it for. Don't use it for PLA anymore. Um, the other ones print PLA better than this does, um, and more reliably, because um, of the fact that that is not always print level. But this prints ABS fine. Um, the Delta, yeah, but it's a Bowden, and I think the build area is quite small, which, admittedly, for that, it's not too bad, but if I do things like um, glow a dark filament, which isn't too dear, um, that will eat the nozzle as well. So I decided to do it on the CR10 and bought a uh, micro Swiss nozzle and broke. So I will be changing that over later on. Hopefully, I'll do a video on that. Um, but in the process of doing that, I have printed up on this sort of an ABS for the um, stock tooling fan for the stock hot end, which I'll put the freight in. So I've got this assembled, I'll put this in. And extra part cooling fan, also an ABS. So basically, the cooling fan goes in between there, bolts go through. This gets bolted to the thing, and it's all, oops, sorry, wrong way around. That way, so if air gets blown on the nozzle on both sides, unlike the stock um, pulling for the parts, which is only one sided, which I don't really like. Um, that came out quite well. I had to do it twice though, because the, um, the best one I did, did, did was the original one. This one's a slightly thickened version around here, because it got up to there and stopped, because it snapped, um, and it's only had the bottom half, which means I have to reprint it. Um, there is one which has a um, mount for a sensor, but I'm not sure how you do that in the firmware yet. Um, I might look at reprinting it later on if I get that sorted out. Um, but with this plus the um, Microsoft Swiss nozzle in there, the CR10 should be doing quite well. Um, and I should be able to um, do something interesting with the Bronzeville. Um, what I'm printing at the moment, just in case you're wondering, is I'm printing, I'm getting on the bandwagon and printing off a fidget spinner. I have printed some in the past. This one I've actually designed myself just to try and use up some um, spare little nuts I had. And so that way I only 
plum bearing. Um, and so that's printing on there. I've already printed the little pieces for the um, nut. I've got a little bit of the um, silver plate on here, so I have to do a little bit of sanding on that. Clean that up. Bit over that. Work quite well. We'll see how the um, this one goes. If it works, I'll do a quick video on that. That's something else. There are lots of videos I've got ideas for, I just have to get them out. Okay, see ya. Oh, and if you like it, like. If you want to see more videos and stuff, subscribe and thumbs up.